Welcome back to Python Scripting for GIS Applications, a course at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, Spring 2013. This week I'm going to teach you how to buffer features. And before we start buffering, we're going to have to create a test data set. So here's a script that will create three points in a shapefile. So basically, I create a driver object that understands Esri shapefiles. And then we'll create our data source called three points dot shape. And then we'll make a point layer object and the geometry type of that point layer object will be a well-known binary point. Okay, so then after we've got our point layer object, we're gonna add some fields. So the first thing I'll do is make a field object for my point ID and I will name that field point ID and it will be an integer type. And then the next field I will name point X and it will be a floating point or real type. And then the last field will be point Y for the name and then a type will be floating point or real. And then after I make these field objects, I go to my point layer and I create the field. So this is essentially add a field and this first field is going to be called point ID and it's going to be an integer field. Okay, so now I've got three fields that have been added to my point layer. So then what I want to do is create three point features. So here I create my first point feature and it's going to have an XY coordinate of 100, 100. And for the point ID field, we'll give it an ID value of one. And for the point X field, we'll give it a field value of 100. And for the point Y field, we'll give that a field value of 100. All the way down to our third point. So our third point we'll put at coordinates X 100 and Y 200, and it will have an ID of three. So essentially after we run this script, we'll have three points and they'll have point ID values of one, two, and three. So then we just run this script. And you notice that it does create a shape file called three points. So now what we want to do is we want to buffer this shape file by a fixed radius. So we'll use this script called buffer three points dot pi. So what we need to do is first open our three points and we'll create a point layer object for our three points. And then we're going to create a new shape file for our output buffers and they're going to be called buffers 25 dot shape. And since we're going to buffer our points, the output will be a well-known binary polygon geometry type. Okay, so then we're going to buffer each point by a radius of 25. And here we don't care whether the XY coordinates are meters or centimeters or kilometers. We're just going to buffer it by 25 linear units. So what we'll do is get the layer definition and then for each point in our point layer, we're gonna loop through. So grab our point feature and then get its point geometry. And then we're gonna buffer that point geometry. So this point object inherits the geometry from our, in this case, in our first point if, as we're looping through and then we'll buffer it using the dot buffer function. And basically what we say is buffer by a radius of 25. And then this buffer polygon object, we're gonna use that to set the geometry of our output polygon feature. And then basically the last line saves that output polygon feature to our shapefile. 
So we'll do that looping through from our first point, which is index zero, up to our last point, which is indexed by the feature count on the points layer. So we'll run this script. And if we look at our folder, we now have a new shapefile called buffers25.shape. So we'll use a GIS to look at our original three points and the output buffer polygons that are 25 radius around the three points. Okay, so there are the three points that were output from our first script and they have an attribute point ID, which I'm using to label each point. And then here are the resulting buffered polygons from our second script. And we can use a measure tool and measure the distance from our point. So we can snap to a point to the edge of our polygon. And if you look, it is 25 meter distance. So here I've defined my coordinate system as being 25. Try that one more time. So snap to that point and then snap to our polygon and it's exactly 0.25 meters. So I define the coordinate system as 25 centimeters in this example. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna <clears throat> learn is how to create variable buffers. And a variable, bu variable buffer is a buffer that's created as a function of some field value. So in this case, what we're gonna do is basically modify our buffer script and we're gonna take the point ID value, so that's gonna be either one, two, or three, and multiply it by 50. And then that will be stored in a variable called buffer distance. And then we'll print out as we're buffering what that buffer distance is. So the first time through this loop, our first point has an ID of one, so our buffer distance should be 50. The next time through the loop, our point ID is two, so the buffer distance should be 100. And then the third time through the loop, this point ID value should have a value of three, so three times 50, our buffer distance should be 150. So we'll run this script and see what happens. And indeed, it prints out our buffer distance of 50 for the first point, 100 for the second point, and 150 for the third point. So now we'll use a GIS to look at that output polygon that's gonna contain variable buffer polygons. Okay, so once again, here are three original points with the points being labeled using the point ID value. And here's the resulting variable buffers, which were created as a function of the point ID value. So the first point had an ID value of one. So this is one times 50. So the buffer distance here would be 50. And this point, it was three times 50. So the buffer distance here should be 150. Okay, so your assignment before we do our next video session is to write a Python script that creates our three points and then write a second Python script that does multiple buffer rings. So in other words, it's gonna buffer around each point more than once. So in your script, what you wanna do is create buffer polygons with distances 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 units away from each point. And the output from that script would give you polygons looking something like this. So here's a polygon around this point and it, it's a radius of 10. And then the next one is this polygon and it's a radius of 20 and then 30, 40, 50. And we'll go over how to create these multiple buffer rings with a Python script at the beginning of our next video session.